Which digit is that? Six. Which digit is that? Six. Digit six. So what do we do when we see that case? That all the first digits of the given numbers are the same. What should we do, Chris? Compare their second digit. Class, what are, what are we supposed to do? Compare their second digit and identify the smallest number. Nah. Nah. Are we together there? Yeah. So let's go to the second digit in this number is four. four. What about this one? Four. Four. The third one? Four. Can we deal this with this one? It's already used. Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Here? Nine. Very good. So this number. And identify the smallest. So the smallest digit we have nine and four. four. Are we together there? Yes. We have nine and four. four. The smallest number is yes. Four. four. But now in this case, we have three numbers. Whose second digit remains to be four? Three numbers. Whose second digit remains to be four? four. So they are also the same. Look at this number. Which number is this? Six, Which number is this? Six, Which number is this? Six, what should we do? Now that the second digit remains the same as the first digit, what are we supposed to do? Yes, yes, here. You compare their next digit or the third digit. Are we together? Let's go to the third digit here. What's the third digit here? Zero. Zero. Nine. Here? Nine. Nine. Here? Nine. Nine. Very good. We have identified the second smallest number already. Compare the third digit. Here is zero. Here is nine. Here is nine. We've already identified the second The second smallest number. Which number is that? Manajuma. Someone to correct? Yes, Mishi. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And 96. The third digit here is 0. Here is 9 and here is 9. nine. So between 9 and 0, 0 is the is smaller than 9. Are we together? Yeah. So automatically this number becomes our second smallest number. Because as the smallest third digit, digit when you compare to the app, the others. Are we together there? Yes. So the number is 64,096. Are we together there? So again, we go, we are done with this one and this one. We have these two numbers that even their third digit remains to be now. Remain to be? Nine. Can we separate them? No. We cannot. What do we do? We yes. We go and compare their fourth digit. The fourth digit of this number is six. The fourth digit of this number is zero. zero. Now compare six and zero. Compare their fourth digit. Six and zero. Which is smaller than the other? Six and zero. Yes. Zero. Zero is smaller than six. six. So we are able to separate these numbers considering they are four digits. The fourth digit of this number is six. The fourth digit of this number is zero, which will be our third digit, third number now, which will be our third number. Hey, this row, hey, Mehdi and your friends, yes. We are comparing these two numbers. Yes, a medi. Mm -hmm. Very good. So this one has the fourth digit zero, and this one has the fourth digit six. This the one with the zero is smaller than the one with. Six. So the number is 64,906. 
Six. Automatically, we have the fourth number because we are comparing two numbers using their four digits. So, which is our fourth number? Yeah. 64,960. We are remaining with only one number. We are remaining with only one number. Yes. The class now. 69,000. Starting with the largest, going to the smallest. smallest. So the moment you are going in this, arranging in ascending order, then descending order won't bring you any problem. Very easy. Are we together there? Yes. So our second lesson is mathematics. Prepare. I want you now to do corrections all this work. Are we together? I want you to do? Correction. Allow me to erase my work and do correction. Together. Yes. Before the beginning of the next lesson, I want to see that correction. Follow the steps up to the last step and get these questions correct. Okay, so now take out your exercise book. Do correction to the questions that you went wrong. Do correction to the questions that you went wrong. You didn't. You collected. Okay, I don't check. So I am expecting to see that work before the beginning of the next lesson for those who went wrong to some questions. Take time, go through the work, and get those questions. Correct. Let's meet in our next discussion.
I said when the orange is, but you are not going to eat. Is that what I said? With the other one? Who brought one fruit? Who brought, uh, we just got one, this one. Who brought another one? This one, it cannot be today, tomorrow, but I believe by Friday we are going to confirm. Okay? So I'm going to wake it. It's a Are together? So I'm saying you bring them. Come on, I go a cooler. Do it from home. He ain't a liver. It's a good day. Me order it a liver. So I told you yesterday. So you say yesterday. You say molds are poisonous. So I'm going to make the molds so that you can see them. The non-green plants. Okay? Today, we're going to learn about the vertebrates. Who's there? Vertebrates. you say vertebrates? Vertebrates. What are the vertebrates? Yes. Vertebrates are Yes. Good. Give me a clap. Vertebrates are animals' backbone. What do you know about the vertebrates? So say, vertebrates are animals with backbone. Animals with backbone. So animal with a backbone is called a vertebrate. Animal with a backbone is called a vertebrate. You know what a backbone? Yes. Yes. Come here. Come. Yes. Come. The backbone. So the backbone is here. It starts here. Here. See the backbone here. You run here to cut it. Backbone. Okay. So when you try to bend, you want to bend, you bend because the, the backbone. So animals the backbone are called the vertebrates. You can tell me one animal with a backbone, but don't tell me human because I showed you one. Okay. Another one about an animal with a backbone. Yes? A cow. A dog. Another one? A cat. A lion. A dog. Fish. Good. 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 Open up your hand tonight. Fish. Donkey. Donkey.
Okay, so uh, uh Lisa, so what up, guys? Uh, fish, another one. Horse. Mm -hmm. Horse. Now tell me the small animals now. Small animals with backbone now. Yes. Chicken. Uh -huh. Small animals. Yes. Snake good. Snake. They like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mini pen has no backbone. Hey, hey, hey. Wait. One person not chalky, yes? Frog, good. Small animals with backbone, yes. Andrew. Neck. Some others come in our classes and they stay in the world in the Babaji. Yes. Spiro, yes? No. Spiro, hey, just raise up your hand, yes? Rabbit, eh? Hey. Bat. Lizard. So, S. Yes. Monkey. Yes. Now, now, those animals, so you say, what are they? Animals with backbone. Vertebrates are animals with backbone. And therefore, these vertebrates are divided into two. Divided into two. Yes, which one? No? Yes? The vertebrates are divided into two groups. What about the two groups? Uh -huh. Yes? You have tried? Yes? We divide them into two as warm blooded and cold blooded. Are you together? So, what are things we divide them into two? We divide them into the warm blooded animals and the cold blooded animals. The word warm blooded means their body temperature remain constant. Their body temperature remain constant. Their body temperature does not change. Like now, when these animals go to the sun, the temperature remains the same. The temperature remains the same. They go to the top of the mountain. The temperature remains the same. So we can we call them warm blooded animals. Warm blooded. Animals. Oh, say. Animals have constant body temperature. Constant means the temperature does not change. Whether the animals go to the top of the mountain, the animals go to the hill, the man go to the hole, go to the river, go to the ice, the temperature remains the same. The temperature remains the same. It does not change. It does not change. It remains the same. So, warm blooded animals. The temperature remains the same. The temperature remains the same. It is, does not change. It does not change. They are warm-blooded animals. They are warm-blooded 
animals. The temperature does not change. The temperature does not change. It remains the same. Right together. So they are warm-blooded animals. They are warm-blooded animals. Right together. The same. So what kind of animals are birds and mammals? Birds and mammals. Birds and mammals. So the birds and mammals, their body temperature is constant. Their body temperature is constant. So what kind of animals are birds and mammals? Birds and mammals. You know the birds? Yes. Who can give an example of a bird? Dingo, yes. Woodpecker, single, falcon, hen, river bird, owl, duck, hawk, ostrich. That's all those bats. They are bats. Who can give me? Then we have the mammals. I tell you about the mammals. Mammals, we talk more about mammals, but mammals are animals. Their body is covered with air or fur. Mammals are animals, body covered with air or fur. You want air? What? Touch your head? Touch your head. What then your head? Air. Isn't it? You say touch your air. So touch your air. So, so if you have air, then you are a mammal. Then you are a mammal. If you have air in your head? Look at it, another animal which has air. Yes. Monkey, good. Another one? Yes. Lion. Lion, yes. Cat. Animal the air. A gorilla. A gorilla. Yes. Spiro. Rabbit. A bear. A bear, yes. Donkey. Dog. Cow. Gazelle. Elephant. Giraffe. Horse. Jaguar. Rats. Okay, sir. Okay, fine. Add down. Even rats. Rat, yeah. So those animals with air, we call them mammals. When you have the mammals, now you already know which animal. Okay? We talk more about mammals later. So, so but animals with the air, they are mammals. So, cold blooded animals, cold blooded animals, their body temperature varies. The word vary means it's not constant. It is not constant. Listen, wait, wait. Cold blooded animals, their body temperature varies. The word vary means it is not constant. It is, it keeps on changing. It keeps on changing. So, the body temperature now it is 50, tomorrow it becomes 70. Uh, the next one will become 20. So the body temperature is not constant. The body temperature is not? So right here, listen to me. So right here, listen to me. So the body temperature is not constant. It is not? It is varied. 
whatever it keep on change keeps on changing keeps on yeah days 50 40 30 depending on the surrounding depending on the surrounding so these animals these animals when they burst on the sun the temperature of the sun is the same temperature of the animal so the cold blooded animals, their body temperature varies. Their body temperature varies, changes. If these animals, like a lizard, a lizard is a cold blooded animal. A lizard is a cold blooded animal. If the lizard goes to the sun, the temperature of the sun is the same temperature of that lizard. The lizard comes here. The lizard comes here. The temperature of this room is the temperature of the lizard. And a very good example is fish. Now, for those fishermen, we have a lot of fish now. We have a lot of fish. Why? Because fish are called blooded animals. Fish are called blooded animals. And even if it's very hot, they are just down the water is very down the water is very hot. They just come to the surface of the water. To get, because that's cold, they come there together, the temperatures. Are you together? Are you together? Yeah. Now, the snakes are very, very many. Because they want to get the sun. Because in the bush is very cold. Are you together? In the bush is very cold. They are just near where the, the sun is, where they can get the sun. So, cold blooded animals, if they are animals whereby their body temperature changes. Their body temperature is not constant. The body temperature is not constant. Keep on changing. Keep on changing with where the animal is. Let me ask you. 2020. 20? 2020. How many were born in 2020? <laughs> 2020. No, no. How many were born 2020? Nobody. How many were in, how many were in school in 2020? Were in school? Okay, so. Okay, listen. How, uh, so, hey, hey. how many were in school 2020? Which class? 52. And you? 2020. That's how. Uh, you are lying. Listen. 2020. Hey, listen. The way that you need to uh, stop us down. The way people lie. Please say 2020 was 52. 52, 2020, 2021, 2021, 2022, 2023, 3, 2024. It is, it is true. So, so what happened 2020? When you were in 52? You are in grade one. Yes, grade one. So what happened? Yes, the school closed, isn't it? Now after opening, what happened when you got to the school gate? The teachers, they were mask. Did you? You put the mask, and also your temperature will be taken. Your temperature will be taken. So we make, we, we take your, we take your temperature. So. Why will you take your temperature? Because you are a warm blooded animal, your temperature is constant. Your temperature is constant. Your temperature is so the normal body temperature for all people it is 37. It is 37. So if you take your temperature, you get by that seven degrees, you are okay. You are okay. So I'm saying this, eh? Warm blooded animals that say they are constant, but cold blooded animals. Today they are here at seven. On the outside they have come at eight. They got the one that come at five. Right together, that means it is not constant. It is not constant. That we call them cold blooded animals. Cold blooded, their body temperature changes. Their body temperature changes. So say yes. Ask. What happens with the cold blood, the warm blooded animals? 
you are sick. Huh? That means that when you go to hospital, the doctor takes your temperature. If you are that seven, you are okay. You are that eight, you are sick. You are that five, that four, you are sick. Okay? Yes. That when you are sick, Madam takes you the temperature. We have the, the thermal gun in Galia. You are that seven, you are not. You may be sweaty, but you are not sick. Okay? The temperature remains 37. So we are the amphibians number two.
The water breaks down. The water breaks are going to do warm blood and cold blood. Warm blood, we have the birds, mammals, cold blooded fish, and there's a amphibia. Very fast, what is that one? Okay.
गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन हाउ आर यू टुडे Thank you. Let's sit down. Excellent. It's not a skill, but it is an attitude. So I don't need to move around and ask people to change to mathematics. If you really know. excellent is not a skill is all about attitude you have already prepared yourself yes. for our math lesson how many of you are ready to prepare your books for math lesson oh that's very very good and interesting for those who are not prepared please always remember you are always remember you are motto that excellent is not skill but an attitude be ready for the beginning of a lesson so in the morning i came here and we corrected each other in the last work that's yesterday's work that is yesterday's work about arranging numbers in ascending order i want to believe that you've done the correction Yes, yes. Is it true? Yes. So I leave those books for marking. But without wasting time, I want us today to look at another topic that is more similar of what we learned yesterday. Are we together? Is about is similar to what we learned yesterday. Though here now we have changed the topic. Yesterday we were learning from the smallest ordering numbers from the smallest to the largest and today we want us to look at ordering numbers from the largest to the smallest put together there so that ordering of numbers from the largest to the smallest is called descending order is called descending order is called descending order put okay, allow me to ask you this question what is descending order Yes Christian involves writing numbers from the largest to the smallest we believe that one day one day Isa bin Maryam the ones we call Jesus Christ we believe that one day will descend from heaven to the earth surface do we believe so Christian do we believe so yes muslim do we believe so Yes. that will come from heaven back to this land of ours so he will be sent from above to the ground so when you are asked to arrange a number from the largest to the smallest descending order that means that you start from the biggest number as you come down to the small smallest are we together there are we together boys and girls Yes. Okay, the same steps we are following when you are writing this number. But now the first step says arrange compare Hira. You are feeling unwell? Sit up right. This first step about arranging numbers from from the smallest to the largest you say the first step is compare compare the first digit of the given number compare the first digit of the given number and identify the smallest and identify the smallest. and identify the smallest. today now we are saying lil leonard today now we are saying compare the first digit of the given number compare the first digit of the given number and identify dash we will fill that dash compare the first digit of the given number now we want to look at descending order compare the steps remain the same compare the first digit of the given number and identify the dash yes 
the largest. Very good. Compare the first digit of the given numbers and identify the largest number, the largest digit. After doing comparison, which is the largest? So automatically, the first digit, the largest, becomes the first number to be written. Are we together there? Yes. Are we together there? Yes. Good. So let us write the steps. Write them. Steps. Let's write them. Number one. I don't want you to talk. Right. By the time I'm done, I'm sure you're through. If he is in this plane to talk while the, an elder is in front of you. Very in this plane. To talk while the teacher is in front of you. That's in this plane. So if you are doing that, know that you are an indiscipline child and you need to stop very fast. I hope you are done. You are copying the example.
Allow me to erase this part. After you've been warned, and again you are repeating the same. Okay, stop. Stop writing so that we can discuss. Stop writing. Stop writing. Nyawa. You know that whatever you're doing there, the teacher sees because it's in front of you. So be attentive. Okay, so the, here are the steps. Let us read them. The first one. Compare the first digit of the given number and identify the given number and identify the number. Now listen here, I'm stressing. Because now here the rule is identify the largest. There is this line who has learned about identifying the smallest. And in his or her mind, is the smallest it has not changed. So you will identify first the small. Smallest. And the rule for descending order, we are asked to identify the largest. Are we together there? Yeah. Good. In case they are the same, read the second step. Let us read this one. Compare their second digit if the first digit are the same. The last step. If you compare the second digit, and again you realize age, the second digit on this number is age, the second digit on this number is also a age. Go and compare the third digit until you find where there is the difference. Where do these numbers di differ? Then pick from there. So it is no far away from what we learned here yesterday and today morning. It's just almost the same. The difference is that we are not identifying the, the largest digits and not the smallest digits. We are identifying the largest and not the smallest digit. So from this, let's start by identifying the first digit in this number. These numbers are six. They made it. When you are writing these numbers are six. So don't don't arrange five. They're supposed to be six for them to be complete. First digit here. Here. What about this? Here. Four. Here. Three. Here. Four. Four. Here. Four. Very good. So the first digit is three and four. Three and four. First rule says identify the largest. So which number? Which digit is the largest here? Aisha? Four. 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 Four is the largest digit. The largest first digit is four. Now we've seen in this one there are three numbers whose first digit remains to be four. Three numbers whose first digit is four. Someone to guide us. What should we do then? Alisa. Compare the second 
compare their second digit. If their first digit are the same, go and compare their second digit. Let's go. Now, the second digit we are talking of, second digit of the largest. So, we are not doing away with this three. They are starting with four. So, what do you have the second digit here? Eight. Eight. Here? Eight. Eight. Here? Eight. Has it worked? As the comparing the second digit, does it bring the difference? No. Why? No. Ah, one person. Why have you seen? It has failed, yes. Because, they have because all those numbers, their second digit is also the same. All those numbers, their second digit is also the same. Which digit is that? Eight. Guide us. What I did? Compare the third. Compare the same numbers, they are third digits. Okay. What is the third digit in this number? Five. 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 In this number? Five. Five. In this number? Three. In this number? Three. Has it solved the problem? No. Has it solved the problem? Yes. Somehow. Yes. Sir? Sir? How? Why are we saying somehow? It does not solve this problem completely. The third digit in this number is? Five. The third digit in this number is? Five. So these two numbers, their third digit remains to be the same? Yeah. Only this number, the third digit is lower, which is? Three. Yeah. Are we together there? Yeah. So to, well, remember, we are identifying the largest digit. We are identifying the largest digit. Are we together there? Yes. So if it has spelled, what should we do now? Yes. Go to the fourth digit. Go to the fourth digit. Go to the fourth digit of which numbers? Of the two numbers. Of these two numbers. Stop writing, Rehema. I made your writing. Okay. So which are these numbers? This one and this one. Whose last digit is five? Five. So we go and compare their fourth digit, zero. which is zero. zero. Here, the fourth digit. Has it solved the problem now? Yes. The fourth digit, has it solved the problem? Yes. Has it brought the difference now? Yes. Yes. The difference in the fourth digit is four, zero. And here is? Here is zero. Here is three. Now compare their fourth digit, which is the largest of these two numbers. Compare their fourth digit. Which one of the two numbers is larger than the other? The fourth digit. Yes. Gloria. 48,505. The third digit here is three, and the third digit, the fourth digit here is four. So the fourth digit is three and four. So this is the largest when compared to this. It's like that zero. Senior, yes. identify the number whose the fourth digit is three. Which number is that? This one here. Are we together there? Yes. So the number will be 48,500. The moment you get this, since you are comparing two numbers, the other number is the next number to be written. Which number is that? Which is the second number? Which is the second largest number? We compare two up to fourth digits. So which is the second number? Yes, Leon. Forty. 48,503 become the second largest number. Mumo, do you know why you are failing after the exercise? You are writing when the teacher is explaining. Look at your friends. Who else is writing? Be attentive. Pen down. Eyes on the board, not on the book. We are discussing this work from here. So the next number is 
This one. Eight thousand. So we have solved this three. Again, the third number is C. Already is open the third number. We have separated it at the third digit. At the third digit. Mishi. Yes. 48,350. So the three, these three numbers, we have solved the problem. So we are remaining with one, two, three. Are we together now? For this number, we left them at the first digit. We left them at the first. Remember, the first digit of these three numbers is three. So they are the same. What do we do? What do we do? We go and check at the second digit. What's the second here? Eight. What's the second digit here? What's the second digit here? Have we solved the problem? Yes. Have we solved the problem? Yes. It is already yes. solved. Why? The second digits are different. They are not the same as here. The second digits in these numbers are different. We have eight. We have four. We have five. So which is the second? The, the, the largest? The largest in these three numbers. The largest. Mwana Juma. The next. The next. Yawa. And the smallest now. The class. example i know she's is competing when you are given the exercise you do a different work so please copy the example very fast copy the first example copy the first example very fast you have one minute two minutes very fast you are a learner Copy the first example. Coming to check your work there. One minute remaining to finish. One minute. And sure you've copied even example two. Just copy. Copy example two and you stop writing from there.
Anais yo wa So remember when you are doing your work, I want to see you are working. How did you manage to get the correct answer? I want to see your work. Okay, stop writing. Stop writing. If you have not completed, now remain attentive. I'll give you some minutes to finish. Stop writing. Stop. Good. So we want to look at example. The second example. Let us read this number. Remember, I taught you to read when reading numbers, you separate them using a comma into groups of three digits starting from the right hand side so one two three a comma here one two three a comma one two three a comma one two three comma one two three comma so it will be very easy to read this number read this one separate let's see a thousand read the second number separate thousand second separate thousand second together there now let us read the number. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Second one. Seven thousand. So the first digit, now what's wrong with the first digit? What's wrong with the first digit of these numbers? James. All the numbers are? All the first digit are? All the first digit are? The same. Ah, a problem now. What should we do? No, we've been asked to identify the largest. And the first digits of all those numbers are the same. Oh, now this is a very big deal. What should we do? Okay, Alisa, guide us. You go and compare the second digit. It is not a problem. If the first digit are the same, no. You can solve the problem using their second digit. Yes. 
If the first digit does that, you can solve the problem using their second digit. Let's go and let's look at their second digit. What's the second digit of this number? What's the second digit of this number? What about this? This one? This one? This one? At least. Is this solved completely? No. No. But at least we've been guided. We have others which are bigger than the others. All together. Yay. Remember here we are identifying the largest. So, someone somewhere is talking. So, we look at the largest second digit. The number with the largest second digit. Which numbers are those? 76. 76. Are we together there? Yes. Now we have two numbers with 76. We have two numbers with 76 class. Yes. Yes. Yes, my lady. Compare the third digit if the second numbers are the same. Math is interesting. Yes. Compare yes. and funny. Yes. Interesting and funny. Okay, fine. Because you, you don't want to be attentive. Okay, good. So let's compare the other digits of 76. This is what? One. This is? Five. Has the problem been solved? Yes. Has the problem been solved? Yes. yes. By which digit? The first, the second, or the third? The third. By the first, the second, or the third? The third. So the problem has been solved by the third yes. digit. Good. What do you have the third digit here? One. What do you have the third digit here? One. Which one is larger than the other? Which one is bigger than the other? The hammer? Ah, raise up your hand only. Yes. Which one is bigger than the other? The, the third digit. Rehema? 765 is bigger than 761. Wow. Alternatively, you can say the third digit is 1, the third digit is 5. So 5 is bigger than 5 is bigger than 1. Which number become our first largest number? Yeah. Yeah. 76,651. Automatically, you have the second one. Automatically, you have the second largest. Yeah. If you have the first one, you have the second largest. Yeah. Look about the others. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Joely. Seven thousand six hundred and twelve. Six hundred and twelve. So we have solved a problem of this one. Solve this one. Hey, look at the third with the second digits. Seventy-one, seventy-one, seventy-two. We have the third number already. We have the third number, the third largest. Ah. Yes, Mark, good. Seven thousand. Ah, five. Yes. Okay, somebody. Mission for it, Mark. 7,261. We have here 72 and here 71 and 71. The last group, their second digits are the same. The last group, their second digits are the same. 71, 71. We go to the we go to the third. What's the third here? What's the third here? Compare their third digits. Compare the third digit and identify the largest. Yes. Six. six. The third digit, six 
is the light larger than two. Give us the fourth. Give us the fourth number. Yes. Seven thousand. One hundred and sixty-two. Last, the last one. Seven thousand one hundred and twenty-six. One hundred and twenty-six. Oh, that's your answer. You varied them from the largest to the smallest. As easy as that. How yeah. many now today are promising, Mr. Munga? I'll be the first one to collect your book with everything correct. I'll work hard to collect oh, the book no so problem. others are not willing to collect their books. Okay. I have seen them money. So, thank you. So you are promising? Yes. Keep promise. At what time should I collect the book? Three questions. Four times. Okay, fine. Before the end of long break. Before the end of long break. Are we together there? So, exercise, exercise H, H 13, number two. Exercise H. 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 Thirteen. Number two. Number two. two B C D. Number two B C D. Number two B C D. Page thirteen. Number two B C. D. At one thirty, I'll come and give you homework for mathematics. Are we together? Yes. Yes. Okay, finish your work. Do your work very fast. Collect it for marking. Enjoy your day. Let's meet in our next math lesson.
we get is here. We get is here. We get is here. We get is here. How are you? How are you? Mia get is good, thank you. Mia get is good, thank you. So you know the spelling of it. Oh, yeah. 
okay uh listen now i don't want to make me don't you understand how do you understand jump so you want to go to jump to germany you don't want to go to germany yes you i'm going to go to germany yes you i'm going to go to germany so listen if you if you if you want to if you want to know german if you understand it well and if you pass my exam then you go to german oh
السلام علیکم So the first thing that we need to know is how to read the surah, which I believe all of you, you know how to read surah al Amma, we have anyone here who can read surah to Ma'un? Is there anybody who doesn't know how to read surah to Ma'un? How to recite Surah to Mount? Do we have anyone who can't recite Surah to Mount? I am talking to you and you are quiet, my friend. Is there anyone who cannot recite Surah to Mount? Yes or no? Yes or no? No. Now, can you recite Surah to Mount all of you together? That's the end of Surah Maun. <coughs> Step that you need to know when it comes to Quran. You have to know, you need to know how to recite the surah. Then from there, memorization. To memorize is to have that surah in your head. Is there anyone who have not memorized Surah Maun? Anyone who has not memorized Surah Maun? So you, all of you, uh, you have uh, you memorized Surat Ma'un? Yeah, yeah. Eh? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. So if that's the case now, we move to the meaning. Meaning of Surat Ma'un. But before we move to the meaning of Surat Ma'un, Surat Ma'un has how many verses? The Surah has how many verses? Yes? Yeah. Seven verses. Surah Ma'un. Surah Ma'un has seven verses. Surah Ma'un has seven verses. And uh, the theme of this surah, or the surah is talking about those people who deny 
the day of judgment. Surat Maun. Talks about those people who deny the coming of the day of Yama. We have people who deny who denies the coming of the day of judgment. So Surah talks about those people who denies the coming of the day of judgment. They think that the Kiyama will not stand. They keep on saying that there will be no the day of Kiyama, the day of judgment. So such people are mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'un. Also, those people who neglect their prayers, who show off in their prayers, have been taught in Surah Al-Ma'un. So we are now going to see the meaning of Surah Al-Ma'un. <coughs> Meaning of Surah Al Ma'un. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Ara'ayta alladhi yukaddibu bid-din. Have you seen him? who denies recompense, the one who deny the recompense. A recompense, this are, it simply means the day of judgment. Have you seen that person who denies, that person who says that there will be no the day of Kiyama? Ara Aitalari, have you seen that person Yukadebo Bedin, who denies the coming of the day of judgment. Can you say, have you seen that person who denies the coming of the day of judgment? Have you seen him who denies? Say what I'm saying. Who has told you to open the text? Araita Ladi Yukadebo Bedin. Have you seen that person who denies the coming of the day of judgment? Can you repeat? Araita Ladi Yukadebo Bedin. Araita Ladi Yukadebo Bedin. What's the meaning of that verse? Araita Ladi Yukadebo Bedin. The verse simply means Have you seen that person? who denies the coming of Kiyama. Have you seen that person? Have you ever seen that person who denies the coming of Kiyama? Who says that the Kiyama will not be there? You have never seen the person. So if you have never seen the person, I want to assure you that you have seen that person. Allah says, That person is the one who chases away the orphans. So those people who does not do good to the orphans, they chase away the orphans when they see orphans and they don't want to help them. Those are the people who are denying the coming of the day of Kiyama. So you want to tell him that you have never seen a person causing harm, doing harm to an orphan. Shayona? No. No. Don't lie to me. So the people or those people who are causing harm, 
who are doing bad things to the orphans. An orphan is a person eh, or a pupil, eh, a child, so a child whose parents are not there. Not that they are not there, they went for a visit, they are dead. Hmm? A child who has lost the two or the both parents, that child needs a lot of care, a lot of love. But we have some people who don't care. Hmm? They do harm to such children. So those are the people, according to Surah Maun, who are denying the coming of the day of Qiyamah. وَلَا يَعُضُّ عَلَى تُعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ You people are together with you. Huh? Leo mekula nini? Can you repeat that verse? Look at you. وَلَا يَعُضُّ عَلَى تُعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Loudly. Loudly. Stop writing fast. So I don't know if you write and I'm explaining whether you will understand what I'm explaining or we are just on your own world. However, I don't like such behavior. When the teacher is teaching, listen to the teachers first. I'm about to ask you questions. Then you will not give me the answers. Automatically, I will say you have not understood the lesson. So you need to be attentive. So that is the third verse. The second verse tells us that those people who are denying the coming of Kiyama are which people? The people. Which people denies the coming of Kiyama? Uh -huh. You see? It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. The people who do bad things there. Very good, young boy. Those people who chases away, those people who cause harm, those people who do bad things to the orphans. <laughs> those are the people who, according to the Surah, they are denying the coming of the day of judgment. They cause harm to the orphans. Then the third verse says, And they urge not on the feeding of al-masakin. Masakin is the poor. These people still, they don't feed, they don't help the poor people in the society. They don't feed the poor people when they see the orphans, they chase away the orphans, they don't help the orphans. So those or that category of people are the people who are denying that Kiyama will come. Sawa? The people who denies the coming of Kiyama are which people? Who chases away the orphans and they don't feed the masakin. They don't feed the masakin. Who are the masakin? Who is masakin? Yes? This one and this two. That's why you are sitting in front here. Who are the masakin? Hmm. Masakin are the orphan? Masakin are the orphan? Yeah. What's your name? Yes, Aisha. Now you are talking to yourself. Hmm. Very good. Masakin are the poor. Masakin are the poor. Those people who need help. We call them masakin or miskin. Walaya 
على طعامل مسكين ولا يعض على طعامل مسكين and they don't feed the مساكين فويل للمصلين نعم نعم فويل للمصلين so who unto those performers of salah so the bus is directed now to another group of people those who are praying who unto those performers of salah those who pray الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون those who delay their prayer those who don't pray on time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that they will be punished those people are praying they will be punished but which category of people will be punished those who pray during their own time you are supposed to pray duhur at what time at noon but you extend up to evening hours those are the people who will be punished i say the surah talks about the people who are denying the coming of kiyama and those people who show off in the prayers alladhina hum an salatihim sahud alladhina hum yuraqun wa yamna'un al-ma'ud those who do good deeds only to be seen they show off they want to be seen that they have done these and these and prevent al ma'un they prevent what they prevent what al ma'un can i say it properly can you can you say it upright they prevent al ma'un an sharatihim ta'un so that bus the last bus why am now on al ma'ud why am now on al ma'ud the last bus is where the name of the surah was drawn from al ma'ud so al ma'ud means small necessity the small kindness like salt sugar water what one animana such things which is not good wa yamnauna limaun so almaun means the small kindness the small necessities are we together you people today i think you are not ready for the lesson kila mtu akotoa na lala hmm which surah are we talking about almaun what's the meaning of almaun What's the meaning of al-maun? What is the meaning of al-maun? The people who deny the coming of the day of judgment. The people deny the coming of the day of judgment are called maun. Sha, sha, sha. Ashraf or who? Yasir. The people who Al Maun are not the people my friends in fact I've even written here right now the last explanation was about Maun When the teacher tells you to listen to the what the teacher is teaching you don't want you are just there copying what you do So al maun means small necessities or kindness the small thing the small necessity or kindness
And these small necessities are like, and the small necessities are like two things. So, what are some of the small necessities? So, Al-Ma'un means small necessities, the small kindness, the small things such as and so on and so forth. Now we move to Do you know how to copy in Arabic? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Do I write for you or you copy directly from the book? Write for us. Yes. Copy from the book. Write for us. If you can copy from the book, copy. Use the textbook. I think if you copy from the textbook, it will be good for you. You just copy the one in Arabic. I'm not going to copy for you on the board. Ara Aitan Ladi Yukadbevo Bidi. Have you not seen the one who denies the coming of judgment? The coming of judgment. Then go to verse two up to verse eight. It will be better that if I copy for you on the board, it will take more time so use the textbook just to copy the ones in arabic and the meaning it's the same same things so the people who denies the coming of the day of judgment are which people which people do deny the coming of the day of judgment Ashraf. Yes, sir, or Ashraf. Which people are those who deny the coming of Yama? I said Maun are not people. Maun are the Maun means small necessities. Hmm? Copy, copy, copy. Sadani can let the other on yet. So 
after you are through with that one, we shall move to the lessons. Lesson from Surah Mahun. Lesson from Surah Mahun. Will you copy the Surah first or we move on to the lesson? Should you copy the Surah first or we move to the lesson? Lesson. Okay, so uh, let me ask you to stop writing the Surah. You will do it later. Then we move on the lesson. So, am I talking to you? Yeah, can you say lessons from Surah to Maun? Lessons from Surah to What have you learned from Surah to Maun? What have you learned from Surah to Maun? Can you try to tell me what you have learned from Surah to Maun? Stop opening the textbook. What have you learned from Surah to Maun? Haji. Maun means kindness. Maun means kindness. The lessons. Lessons. We should be. Huh? Hmm? Yes. Very good. Number one is that as a Muslim, or we as Muslim, we should take care of poor people in the society. That's a point. We should take care of poor in the society. We should take good care of poor in the society. Our, we should pray. Very good. We should pray. But at a right time. Because you said those people who neglect prayer, they will be punished. We should pray at a right time. The surah tells us to pray at a right time. Uh -huh. We should not show off in prayer. We should not show off in prayer. We should not show off in prayer. Don't pray for people to see you. Pray because Allah wants you to do so. Mm -hmm. We must, we should take care of the orphans. We have to take care of the poor and at the same time we should take care of orphans by being kind to them. So we should be kind to orphans. We should be kind to orphans. We should be kind to orphans. Taking care of uh, orphans is whereby you be kind to them. You don't chase them when they come for help. You don't cause harm to them because their parents are no longer there. You must take good care of the orphans. We should not show off in prayers. We should encourage others to feed the poor. Eh? As we take 
care of the poor, we should also encourage others to do so. We should encourage others to feed the poor. We should encourage others to feed the poor. Yeah. I can now continue writing the lessons from the surah. You hurry up so that the teacher, the next teacher, will not laugh before you are through. So I see people going for prayers late. That will show that you people have not understood what the surah means. Hmm? What is it? Hmm? So what is, what is there? Hmm? It is a birth certificate. Who is Shufa? I know Shufa. You are who? Joma Rashid Sebe. <laughs> I, our time is up ensure that you copy the notes don't leave the class before you are through with those notes because I will uh, I might
So your curriculum has been changed. There are some subjects that you used to do individually. Right now they have been merged. They have been to merge is to bring together. Wait, wait. So what you're doing. So merging is putting together. The subjects have been put together to make one subject. Right now, agriculture has been merged with home science. So you will be doing a subject called agriculture and nutrition. It is one subject which has agriculture and home science. And who is your teacher? Mr. Timo. So he'll be teaching you agriculture and home science, which we call it now agriculture and nutrition. Then, Art and craft, music, and PHE has been put together. Stop what you're doing. Has been put together to make one subject. That one subject is called creative arts. So I'll only be writing PHE to guide you which part of creative art we are learning. Okay? Yes. So art and craft, PhD, and music is now one subject called creative arts. In the same same line, the number of units or the number of the amount of content you used to do in these subjects when they were individual subjects has been reduced. Okay. Okay. Yes. So PhD has a lot of units that you're supposed to do, which has been reduced. So we're not going to do everything that is in this textbook. Are you together? Yes. So what you're going to do in PHP, I know we had already started, but there are some things we're not going to do. So what we are going to do in PHP is one, something we call Football. We are going to look at football. Football is also called soccer. So can you look at the table of contents? Your table of contents on your textbook. Then tick football. Look at where there is football and put a tick. If there is no football, there is soccer. Soccer is also football. Eh? We have soccer push pass, soccer wall pass. In grade four, we looked at soccer. 
types of passes. Yeah, inside of the foot pass, outside of the foot pass, and the in step pass. Stop talking. The other thing we are going to look at is rounders. We started rounders in grade four, and we're also going to continue rounders in grade five. Then the other thing you're going to look at, at is the athletics, the part that we had already started, the visual button acting. We had already started with that. No. Then the last thing you're going to look at is swimming. So only those four things, we're going to learn those four things in PHP. Football, that is soccer. Where there is soccer, on top of it we have the rounders. Okay? Yes. Then soccer, then swimming. And the athletics, that is the visual pattern. So where did we stop in our last lesson? We stopped at button. Exchange. So we had already started with visual button exchange. We looked at what an incoming runner is. Who is an incoming runner? Um, I said you stop what you are doing. Where is your book? Again. Yes, this is the athlete that passes the button to the other athlete. Incoming runner. You are absent-minded. Can you bring your mind back to class? Bring together. So this is the athlete who receives the baton in a race. We call that the outgoing runner. Okay. So we also looked at what button exchange is. What is button exchange? Passing a button from one athlete to the next. We call that button exchange. So today we say we are going to start with visual button Visual button exchange. The outgoing runner, the outgoing runner, look back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Can you read that? Button exchange. The outgoing runner extends his hand back and looks to see the incoming runner placing the button on his or her hand. Now, there are two ways in which the incoming runner can place the button on the outgoing runner's hand. Which ways are these? Eh, 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 eh. Uh, I said that yesterday. You've already forgotten. There are two ways in which the incoming runner can place the button on the outgoing runner's hand. Yes? Up sweep or down sweep. How do we do the up sweep? And I mean, how do we do it? Up sweep. When you're doing the up sweep, how is the palm? The palm is facing up or down? Down. How is the palm facing? Down. Down. The palm is facing down. So how is the button placed on the palm? From? From? Down going up. From down going up. You remember my button here? So from down going up. And then the up going runner grips the button and then continues running. Then the other one is down, 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 down sweep. How is the palm of the out going runner? Yes. It is up. The, uh, the palm is facing up. The palm is facing up. Like this. Then how do you place the button on the and going up, 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 up going down. down. So let's read that.
okay? So, the incoming runner can press the button on the outgoing runner's palm by either using up sweep, that is bottom going up, or down sweep, which is up going down. Then, the incoming run must maintain maximum speed. The speed that he was running with, he should maintain that speed until he has successfully passed the button to the next run. Okay? Yeah. So you cannot stop running and you have not yet passed the button to the next run. Okay? Yeah. Let's look at the rules to be observed when passing a button. Rules to be observed. Rules to be observed. When passing a button, rules to be observed when passing a number one. The button cannot can not be thrown to the next. <coughs> so you cannot see if you are your, your next athlete and then you decide to throw the button to them. No. You must hand it over to them. So you cannot throw the button to the next athlete. Number two. The button must be carried, must be carried throughout this. It must be carried throughout the race. You cannot leave a button at any point. So you start with it and it should be carried throughout the race. Then the person carrying the button cannot drop it. The person carrying the button cannot drop it. If he or she drops it, he or she must come back, collect it, and continue with the race. Once you are running and you drop, you have to come back collect it, then continue with the race. You cannot come back, collect it, and then get out of the race. Yeah. You have to continue with the race until, until you finish. Okay? Then the next point, um, the person running must maintain their the athletes, the athletes must maintain their yeah. Remember we say that relay is for short races. Relay is for short races. So the athletes must maintain their what? Their legs. Okay? You must maintain your legs. Have we understood? <coughs> yes? Mm -hmm. What happens when the person does not follow the legs? 
then that person will be disqualified. If you don't follow the rules, you are disqualified. Yes? That is breaking a rule. Yes? I have said this. Eh? These are the rules. If you break any of them, you are disqualified. So if the button drops, you don't go back to pick it, disqualification. You run and then you go to your next, to the next athlete lane, disqualified. You have to follow the rules. Yes, Raymond? Or if you don't get the button to your team, you Yes, the button must be taken to the next athlete. If you don't pass the button, who will continue the race? Yes? If one person is disqualified, and I said yesterday, the whole team is disqualified. Yes, because a relay must have four members. One is disqualified, the three cannot complete the race. It is not like in football where one is given red card and then the others continue. No. Okay? Aisha? What if you, what if you, are, you are tired? What do you do? You have to practice until you know that when I start the race, have to continue. You cannot get tired in, in the middle of the race. You have to finish the race. Mm -hmm. If you are running, then for example, something trips you, then the battery will The tracks are supposed to be out of any obstacles. There is nothing that is supposed to be on the track that can trip you, hurt you, hurt you, poke you, or anything. They are supposed to be clear. Yes? If you have asthma and you always use the inhaler, you will run with your inhaler on your hand. Huh? Now that's when you have to practice. There are some things that you need to practice. That if I am asthmatic, I have to learn how to run with my inhaler. Okay. Yes. Can I continue now? Yes. yes. Have you understood? Yes. yes. When you ask me questions, I feel very good. <laughs> I know that you have understood. That's why you are asking. When okay. you don't understand, you don't ask anything. Yes. I just there wondering what is this woman saying? <laughs> <laughs> what language is she speaking? Hmm? So again, we need to observe some safety when we are doing the relay races, okay? So safety when exchanging the buttons, when exchanging the buttons. Aren't you to remember something? I don't know if you remember what I say. Look here. The other day I drew an athletic strap yes. Yes. like that. I drew a beautiful athletic strap like that. Then I told you if it is a hundred meters relay, we have four people. Leo. You remember? Yes. Where was the starting point? There. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. No. Where? Yeah. No. Where? No. Here. No. Where? No. Down. No. Where? Yeah. There. No. Where? No. Yeah. The right side down. So this was the starting point. For 100. Meters. Four by one hundred meters, really. Okay, and it is still there. Finishing. Finishing. 
Okay. Now, I also say that because this field, when you run around it, stop talking. Stop talking. Stop writing. Sit up right. Look at the blackboard. This field, when you run around it, it is 400 meters. But I want you to see, and I want you to look at here and answer me. <laughs> look here. Stop writing. Stop writing. Look here. The person running here, the first, let, let me call this number one and this number two. The person running around number one. Mark, stand up. Am I singing you a lullaby? <laughs> stand up, stand up, stand up. The person running on lane number one and the one running on lane number two. Who is running a longer distance? Number one. Are they running the same distance? Yes. No. Yes. No. no. Number one. Number one and number four. Three. This is number one. This is the lane. How? This spacing between these two lines is what we call a lane. A lane. So this is lane one. This is lane two. A lane is usually in between lines. So this is a line. This is a line. Inside we have a lane. Are we together there? Yes. So there is lane one, lane two. Up to how many lanes? Stand at the back, you are blocking the one thing. So, there is something that is usually done to make sure that these people run the same length. Okay, there is something that is usually done to make sure that these people run the same distance. See? Distance. 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 So, I say between this line and this line, usually it is a straight line. You remember? In Facebook, we say an athletic track is made of two straight lines. Straight lines. And two curved lines. That is what we say. See you. Yes. So this is a straight line, this is also a straight line. Yeah. This is a curve and this is a curve. So this one here up to here. When you draw it straight, it will be like that. Studio. Studio. Yeah. So we don't draw it like that in athletics. <laughs> it's drawn like this. And this one, right? Why? When you look at this distance here, a person will start from here and run. See you? But the person standing here is standing in front. See you? Yes, yes. Is the first. So the first person is standing here, the next one will be standing there, the other one, here, then the other one, the other one. So when you look at these people, this one is in front of them. See you? Anyway. Yeah. So, usually it is not a, a line like that. Eh? So, 
they make it straight lines but broken ones. So they come here and make the starting point like that. This is starting point for player number one. Then the other one is supposed to be here, so they draw a straight line. Okay. Then they come and draw the other one. Yeah. And they come and draw the other one. Yeah. So player number four is standing here. Number three here. Number two here. Okay? Yes. The same thing happens here. Okay? Yes. So when I measure here up to here, it is 100 meters. So if I measure from here, you'll find that, you'll find that our 100 meters will be somewhere in front here. The 100 meters from here will be somewhere in front there. And this one will be somewhere. So this, the, the next pair will be there, 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 and there. That, so that we cover it. So this, like, it is like a ladder, eh? See you? Yeah. We call them taggers. We call them taggers. So we use taggers to make sure that the athletes run the same distance. Okay? Yes. Are your ears open? Yes. I ask you that question, the first thing when I enter our PhD lesson, the next PhD lesson. So next time we are going to start with safety measures when exchanging the battle. Have a good afternoon. And, uh, we are so quiet. So many women get there. Yes, good morning, grade fives. It's not yet afternoon. Afternoon starts from two. Good morning, Masmo. Welcome to our social studies class. We we'll continue from where we stopped in the previous lesson. Have your seat down. Have your seat down. We have to learn on how to write our work faster. Because there are members who are still online and they are still working more better than you. So the physical members will need to be very much, very much alert. Lastly, you are talking about neighbors to Kenya, the Kenya neighbors. And who are they? Who are the Kenya neighbors? Kenya neighbors? Yes. Tanzania is a neighbor to Kenya. Tanzania, Macau, Uganda, Ethiopia, Somalia, Victor, that was done very good, Ethiopia. And our neighbors was with relation to the, was with relation to the site of Kenya. Our neighbors were wow, with relation to the size of Kenya. When relation to the size of Kenya, the portion of Kenya. That way we gave members to which can to, to Kenya using we gave our members using um, combas. The combas helped us to know our members in different areas or locations. They want us to go and try to see size of Kenya. Say size of Kenya. 
Again, size of Kenya. Again, size of Kenya. One check on size of Kenya. Size of Kenya. And let us say this one. Kenya is about 582, square kilometers. Kenya, Kenya, write with me. Kenya is about five. 582, 582, 646. 646. Kenya is about 842, 646 square kilometers in size. Square kilometers in size. Kenya is about Kenya is about 582, 646 square kilometers to the size. Read that. Kenya is about 582, 646 square kilometers in size. Come up again. Kenya is about 582, Again, we should say Kenya has a good relation with our neighbors. Kenya, Kenya has a good Kenya has a good relation with with our neighbors. Remember, countries are given female gender. Country are mothers. That we're talking about our neighbors. Don't say yes, neighbors. Country are given female gender. Countries are given female gender. Countries are given the gender. Yes. Ours. You, you are female gender. This is a male gender. So countries are given female gender. That we say Kenya is my country. Kenya ni mama yangu. Kenya ni inchi yangu. Kenya ni mama yangu. We say that. We should promote friendship and respect for one for each other. We should. We should. We should promote friendship. What are we talking? We should promote friendship. We should promote friendship and respect. Respect for one for one another. We should prom we should promote friendship and respect for one another. We should promote friendship and respect for one another. Or pull a stand behind them. We should promote friendship and respect for one another. Our country has maintained good relationship with the other members. Together, we as Kenyans, we as citizens who are found in Kenya, we should promote good friendship. From the class level, we should promote friendship with one another. From at home level, we should promote friendship with one another. Then we respect one another. We spread with we respect one another. We respect one another or each other. Or each other. It's important for countries that border each other to have good relationship. It is important. It is important. It is important for it is important for countries that border that border one another it is important for countries that border one each other sorry that border each other it is important for the countries that border each other 
it is important for countries that border each other to have that border each other to have a good relationship to have a good relationship it is important for the countries that border each other to have a good relationship or relation this promotes peace between them this this promotes this promotes peace between this promotes peace between them 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 we are saying that it is very important for countries that border each other to have good relationship therefore this promotes peace among them so we need to say that the size of kenya is about 582 646 square kilometers in size that is the size of kenya we are saying kenya has a relationship with our neighbors and who are the neighbors to kenya monica and you that direction stand properly uganda to the west don't say uganda west yes Ethiopia to the north and northeast. Aisha. Tanzania to the south. Tanzania to the south. Yes, Joelina. South Sudan to the north. Somalia to the east. South. South. South Sudan to the north. And as over to the northern northeast, we stop there. And uh, the great six so here last year have done a very nice job, I've done a very good job. I've seen brother to Casey, Casey, brother to what is your name? Juliana has done very well. Almost all of is calling them exceeding, which is good work. Uh, from there, we are going to go to another new substrand another new substrand and there we have the keywords which is location and the position of kenya size of kenya the keywords in that topic keywords in that topic things you must understand there is location we have position and the size location position location position of kenya location position of kenya and and the size location position of kenya and the size of kenya these are the givings will be questions of that sub subscribe Location, position of Kenya, and the size of Kenya. What is the size of Kenya? Five eight two. Yes. Six, six, eight, four, four, six. No, 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 no. number today. What is the size of Kenya? Five hundred and eighty two thousand six hundred and forty six. What? Square kilometers in size. So the size of Kenya is 582,646 square kilometers in size. You have said Kenya has a numbers and it's very important to stay with them well. And what makes us to do so? When you do that, you promote peace and the unity between each and every one of that. Then you have the keyword location of kenya location of kenya 
position of Kenya and the size of Kenya. What is the position of Kenya in relation to our neighbors? Position of Kenya in relation to Uganda. Position of Kenya from Uganda. Position of Kenya from Uganda. Munene. Munene Raymond. Raymond. Yes. Position of Kenya from Uganda. Kenya is with the dash of Uganda. We need to be together. Who's it, girls? Yes. No, 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 no. You're not with us. You're not with us, Munene. Yes. East. East. Kenya is to the east of Uganda. Give him one club. Just one. That is your own club. Give him our club. Okay. Remain standing, Raymond. Yes. Macau. Kenya in relation to Somalia. Position of Kenya from Somalia. Is the language of the East? Is he correct? He's cheating us. Yes. He's cheating us. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Yes. West. Kenya is to the west of Somalia. What about Ethiopia? Yes. South. Very good. What about Tanzania? Tanzania. Tanzania. Yes. To the north of Tanzania. To the north of Tanzania. Uh, from there, we are going to have uh, we are going to I am giving you a second yesterday, yeah? We are going to have uh, now the second thing you need to check through, to go through. And that is main physical features in Kenya. Main physical features in Kenya. Main physical features in Kenya, say that. The main physical features in Kenya. Again. The main physical features in Kenya. What go to and come to see? What are some of the main physical features? Physical features include things you can see. Are you on what? What are the main physical features found in our country? Physical features found in our country, yes. We have ales, ales, steamer. And let's push them down. We have ales, ales, like you have a hill called Shimbaheli. Ales, yes. We have ales, Joy. We have legs. 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 What else do we have? Mountain. 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 Hope you are ready together with me. Mountain. Yes. Yes. What? Please. No, no, no. Please say no. Yes. Fatuma. We have rivers. Very good. We have Klapwa. Klapwa. That club is yours. Give our club. Simi si club. Now what? Ocean. We have ocean. Ocean. Number six. What do we have? Number six. Yes. Valleys, valleys, yes. What? What? No, 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 yes. Yes, yes. name back to Joelina. It's already here. What's in the Yes. Forest. Forest that is called Peter. Yes. Forest. The last one. Yes. Lane. Very good. Lane. No. Lane. Any other left? No. Yes. Umas. Plateau. 
lack of mercy. Those are members who are doing extraordinary things. Those are members who are doing extra things. If I was marking them, I would give them EE. They are doing something extra. When you have forgotten everything, they say something. Those are the things you are going to discuss about them. Then, what can we say? What can we say? What can we say about a physical feature? What can we say about a physical feature? Have everybody has read this part? Yes, yes. Everybody has read this part? I know them are good. No. I hope all the members are, have read the, the first part. I don't think they have my I have my red pen here, so I'll mark my notes here and for get out. You sleep. Now, what is a physical feature? You can say physical feature. Physical features. Physical features are what are the physical features? You say that. Physical features are land features, land features, physical features are land features, physical features are land features that occur naturally, that occur that occur naturally that occur naturally that occur naturally that occur naturally land features occurring naturally i want us not to name physical features around our school physical features around our school the land features that occur naturally Yes, Jolina. Yeah. Well, yeah. yes, yeah. around us. Yes. Yeah. Name. Yes. Name. Where? 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 What is the name of the place? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Which one? Oh. <laughs> Do you have a orange bay? So, around our school, or near our school, near the school we are living or we are learning from, the only forest near us is very far away. Very far away. Uh, on the way to the Shimba is rainforest. It's called Shimba is tropical rainforest. Shimba is tropical rain forest. The only forest near our area, our town. We have rivers, many of them near our school. We have River Amis this side. We have River Tiwi. Any more, any more from Kombani around? We have River Tiwi. Remember the from Kombani. The river you pass by will reach Brujei. So those are some of the physical features near our school. Any other? Oh, now see people are thinking creatively. Yes. No, we don't have bills. I've said only one. Shimba hills. There's no hill there. Umas. Yes. No, which leg is near our school? There's no leg near our school. Which leg is now as good? There's no one of it. Ocean, very good. That was I wanted. I think I'll find you a role tomorrow. Now, the ocean. 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 Ocean is among the physical features found near our school. What name of the ocean? What is the name of the ocean? Crypto? Indian Ocean. Actually, the only physical object is the nearest our school. We have an ocean near our school.
think we should take a day and go there for swimming. And now you'll be swallowed by what? I know. Lewa can get Kalimbo can get swallowed by the water. Do you know People like playing like a machine that can easily be swallowed by water. Or that now. Having reached there, in our next lesson, we are going, I want to give you a sentiment, you go and define the meaning of each physical feature. You use your book to find the meaning of hills, although we did it in grade four, the meaning of lake, what do we mean by a mountain? What do we mean by a river? What do we mean by ocean and the sea? What do we mean by valleys? What do we mean by forests? Bay and the plateaus. Then after that, we already given the meaning of this for feature. You are saying these are natural, natural land features that occur on land naturally. The natural land feature that occurs on the land naturally. Naturally. Up to there, we are going to stop there for now. But we cannot go home without having a homework. Yes. We cannot go home without having a homework, which we shall call it activity. Let's go to give you a question. Oh. Activity. Go home. Carry the away. Number one. What is the size of Kenya? What is the size of Kenya? Number two, how many? How many counties are there in Kenya? Number three, list. List five elements. Elements of a good map. Somebody's talking. The get you go behind. The dash, the dash borders, borders Kenya, the dash borders Kenya to the north, east. The dash borders Kenya to the north, east. So now we say the, the cannot point must be written in a capital letter. Kind of points should be written using a capital letter. I want us to write our notes very fast. As we write notes, I'll go checking what we are.